don't just ignore the negative feelings entirely and then use a band-aid called positive thinking to plaster on top of that um, because that doesn't do anything they don't go anywhere Hey guys, David here again, and just got a quick question um, from a viewer. And if you have a question, you can contact me in uh, my email. Send me a message and see if I can answer your question. Um, you can also book me for one-to-one -one sessions if you're going through something, maybe something similar to this person here is. So let's just dive right in and see if this topic can help you as well. Okay, so the question is about positive thinking and feelings of depression, negative feelings that are coming up and how to process them. So the question is, hi David, I've been going through a very difficult time these past few months. and I can't quite understand where these feelings are coming from. You talked about trauma in another video. Yeah, um, maybe I'll put the link for that, but it's about past traumas and how those can bring up these negative feelings in our lives. Um, I don't think I've had a significant trauma. So I don't know why I am feeling this way. Okay, so maybe that's possible. Maybe there is no you know, significant trauma, but you are a human being. And the simple fact of being a human being means that you're here long enough you'll realize that life is not easy okay so while it might not be the textbook trauma you know a parenting issue or maybe a bereavement or a, a death in the family or anything really obvious to point out like that just the fact that you are a human being living in this world is kind of a traumatic experience you know feeling like you're a separate human being all alone maybe you feel vulnerable about life you know there's when you have an ego, you could say that you're going to feel some level of trauma. So just because there's nothing significant that you can point to, doesn't mean it's not there. It could also mean that you're just not quite aware of what it was. So that's, I hear what you're saying there. Um, okay, so I don't think I've had a significant trauma. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I try to use positive thinking. I watch positive videos every day but I still feel bad. Is there anything I can do to stop this? Thanks. Okay, so um, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to use positive thinking. The issue though isn't that you don't use positive thinking. Your natural state of being is to be happy. Okay, I've talked about this in past videos as well. Your a naturally happy person even though you don't feel like that right now so the problem isn't a lack of positive thought or emotion the, the issue is that there are limiting beliefs there in place harmful painful ones and those are the beliefs that will need to be dropped before you feel like you're yourself again okay you before you start to feel positive uh, relaxed calm uh, powerful optimistic so you can't really choose positive thoughts if you're feeling negative okay what you really have to do is drop your belief in the negative beliefs and negative thoughts and then you automatically move into a place of emotional freedom and peace of mind okay so there's a process now how can you do this first of all you can it helps to have someone to talk with. You can book a one-to-one -one session with me or you can go to a therapist or something like that. Someone who wants to help you work through why you believe these negative beliefs. You may not even be aware that you have these negative beliefs. They could be hidden beliefs, but the emotions bubble up to the surface every now and then based on what those beliefs are. So it's fine that you watch the positive videos and stuff, but what I would suggest that you do is you start to journal and when you journal, give yourself full permission to be as negative as possible. Get in touch with the shadow part of your mind, right? The part that we don't want to look at, we don't want to acknowledge. And 
start to write down everything that's wrong and if, if that's difficult for you what I would suggest is and if you're not actually even feeling the negative emotion sit down and start a journal and say if I was feeling bad if I was feeling negative if I didn't like myself what would I write what would that part of myself say really give yourself permission now do it with the intention of hearing what it has to say but then also allowing it to be changed so you'll you'll write the negative stuff but allow yourself also after you've spilled that out onto the page to allow yourself to then slowly start to change the language okay so you, you don't want to end the journaling session with negative 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 all the way through although that is helpful allow yourself to then start to change it slightly okay um, and you will notice then that you're giving your shadow self awareness the negative feelings that come from these limiting beliefs and thoughts will start to feel seen and heard and it won't throw up these outbursts of negative emotion to get your awareness to get your attention okay so the positive videos and the positive thinking are okay as long as you're doing that as well does that make sense don't just ignore the negative feelings entirely and then use a band-aid called positive thinking to plaster on top of that um, because that doesn't do anything they don't go anywhere the only way you can get rid of these neg negative beliefs and negative thinking patterns is to look at them because when you look at them maybe with somebody to do that work to facilitate you through through that process when you look at them you realize they're all based on fabrications stories narratives I've been telling myself none of it is as true as I think it is we believe it's true you better we, you better believe we believe it's true that's the issue but when you look at them in the cold hard hard light of day you realize actually these are not as true as I thought they were at all okay so give that a go that's a journaling exercise you can start to do you can also look at the work of Byron Katie she's very very good she's loads of videos on YouTube and she has a process of inquiry that you can start to use as well but you know don't complicate it just take out a pen uh, write negative feelings and allow it to be transformed okay one final thing I'll say is before you do it maybe spend a minute or two meditating okay and setting an intention of I want this exercise to be helpful to me okay that's something else you could add to it okay guys I'm gonna leave it there um, I hope that was helpful again um, I'd really appreciate if you want to subscribe to the channel for more of these if you can send me a question if you have a question for a video um, you can like the video you can share it with friends if you like um, what else um, yeah you can contact me on my, my website if you have a question or would like to uh, to work with me thanks so much guys and I will see you in the next video take care of yourself